Hey guys, this is just a quick video explaining what to do if you have a partial power outage or a full power outage in your home. So to confirm if it's a full power like outage um, in your home and in the street, you just need to go out to your switchboard, check your meter, make sure your meter's lit up. If it's not, that means you've lost power to the street. And to double check that, you just trip an RCD, which is these ones, these double pole ones. If that flicks down, like it just did, you have power. And this is lit up, which means you have power. Now, what happens if you have just one switch or two switches down? You just gotta narrow down where the problem is, okay? Is it gonna be a light circuit or is it gonna be a power circuit? So to do that, you just turn everything off Make sure everything's off and then you turn your main switch on because that provides power to your RCDs. Turn on each RCD. They might look like this or they actually might look like a single one as well with a test switch. They do exactly the same thing. If your RCDs don't turn back on, you might have a faulty RCD, okay? So now what you do, you just need to determine if it's a light or a power circuit. If I turn this one on that says light and this flicks down, you have a power of your lights, light circuit somewhere in the house. Could be water and a light or something like that, okay? So if I come over here and I can see this RCD protects a power circuit, if I turn this power circuit on and this turns off, when I turn that on, that means you have a problem with your power points. So what you do there is you just go through the house, unplug everything, Unplug your fridge if you can. You shouldn't need to unplug your oven. That should run back to a circuit breaker in your switchboard. Um, it may be plugged into a power point, but you can isolate it from your switchboard just for testing purposes to prove if it is that or isn't that. Outside power points exposed to rain. Um, sometimes the rain can get inside it and it's short between the terminals and the back of your power point. Um, so you might have to pull those off and check for water. Um, I've seen ants inside power points shorting across the terminals. I've seen slugs, lizards inside. I don't know how they get in there, but they do. I don't know if they squeeze up through here. I'm not sure. So you just want to check your outside power points um, and also unplug anything that's plugged into them. All right, reset these and then you plug everything back in one at a time until this trips, this RCD trips, okay? Once the RCD trips, you found your faulty appliance. It's exactly the same with your light circuit, okay? If the light circuit, if you turn on the light circuit, that trips, what you do is you just go around to all your light switches, turn everything off, Turn everything back on until that trips. Once that trips, you've narrowed it down. Now, if it's a light circuit, it could be many of things. It could be water in an outside light, water in an outside switch. It could be rats. Rats have eaten into the wires. It could be a cable is flapping in the breeze and gotten squashed. It could be anything, okay? So you just gotta narrow down what circuit is the issue?